I just got access to a brand new AI tool from Google. It's called Google Vids and it's AI powered video creation specifically designed for work. It takes place inside of Google Workspace. And in this video, I wanna show you exactly how to use it step by step. And I wanna show you how to get access because right now it's in early access. So you may not have access yet, but I'll still show you how it works. And hopefully if you have access, you could follow along. Now, this is gonna be part of, if they do release this widely, it's gonna be part of Google Workspace. So Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, all of that, this looks like it's taking place in the same platform. And the way it works is it will use Google Gemini, which is Google's AI, to then turn a text prompt from this box into a complete video. And then I'm gonna show you exactly all the different editing options because they actually, unlike a lot of AI tools, give you a ton of editing options with each video. Okay, so let me explain how you get access first if you're watching this up on its release. So this is something called Google Workspace Labs. This is where they roll out new AI and they invite you if you have a Google Workspace account. So I had a Google Workspace account, so they automatically added me to it. It's an invite only application. And it says right here, and I'll link this page in the description. If you wanna check if you have access to Workspace Labs, all you have to do is open Google Docs and see if you have this little right icon. So in the same Google account, I just opened a Google Docs. And if you click and you see help me write, that means you already are part of Google Labs. It's invite only. There's no link I could send you to to actually sign up. They do have a website. It's called labs.google. And they show you all kinds of different AI tools that right now are not widely released and are invite only. So I covered Google Notebook LM, for example. This is a really interesting AI tool for organizing your notes and using Gemini, Google AI Gemini again, to interact with your notes. They have a ton of different creative tools too. So if you wanna check out this page, this is at labs.google. But if you do have access while this is in that experimental stage, you could actually access it. I just went to docs.google.com slash videos, and this is where I basically could create new videos. If you've ever used Google Docs, Google Sheets, same exact layout, right? I just press plus here and it's gonna create that new video for me and it's gonna bring me to the prompt box. So that's how I got here. They also send you an email too when it's available on your account and then you could link from there as well. Now, let me show you exactly how this works. So it says, describe your video in a few sentences and then you could use this mention sign at mention sign to include files that are inside of your Google Drive to pull that in so it could use that data to create that video for you. That is extremely powerful, right? Really, Google is the only one that could do that if you use other services in their workspace, right? If you have Google Docs and Google Sheets and you have your data, you have your presentations, you have all your information there, you could pull those in into the chat. Now here, they have a ton of different examples for us to get started as a prompt, so I could show you some of these as an example. And this gives you a really good idea what this is meant to do for you. So a lot of these like remote team building video on how to socialize with coworkers. So through my production company, my video production company, a lot of times we make training videos and internal videos for medium size and Fortune 500 companies. And these are the type of videos. They're obviously gonna be a lot more custom through that company than what this is gonna give you. But this is kind of taking it to that step where right now, usually you see these through like a Google slide presentation, right? Where someone shares some kind of an email that breaks these down. But now anybody could create a video using this Gemini AI tool with their Google vids. So let me press next here. And in a few seconds, it's gonna create this outline and everything's editable here. So I could type in different text. And then in the next page, it's gonna be editable too once we finalize it. I could add other things here that the AI did not pull in. And then remember that at mention sign, you wanna utilize that to bring in docs and sheets like that. And I'm gonna experiment with that a little bit more here. And it looks like this is our complete presentation and I could delete again, add or edit. Then I could press next here. And they have a ton of different templates, so you can start there. But I noticed when you come to this page right now, I only had three different choices for how this could look. So I'm going to choose one of these right here. And here's my video. And I could see it's not going to have the text just yet. It just has placeholder text to show you what it's going to look like. And kind of each little clip is going to show up right here in a little preview. But let me create this draft. It seems to work really fast from the five or six videos that I've tested this out with. It only took a few seconds here to create it. 
and I'll show you the final results here that we could edit. There we go. Okay, so let me show you exactly how this works because I think they've done a really good job giving us a lot of manual control with these type of videos. Right now, if you hire a company to do this, obviously it takes a, quite a while, right, to turn any type of documentation you have, meeting notes that you have into a video. Much easier to share and get information across. Obviously, I come from a video background, so for me, I think this is just a great way to share any work-related resource. Okay, so let me select the first slide to show you all the different things that could be editable. So all the text, obviously, this is just like any slideshow. If you use Google Slides, works the same way. You could edit any text, just double click, edit any text. Now, any type of image over here, they're gonna give you some AI tools. This removes the background, for example. This is gonna change the animation of it. You have some formatting options here, like if you wanna do any of these more advanced formattings. And with any of these images, if I go to the right side, I could click on the stock media library and I could see all kinds of different images I could pull in if I wanted to switch that out and then obviously fit that into this box. You also have create images with Gemini. So this is a tool they've had for a while, but you could type in a prompt and generate an image here. So you don't have to use stock if you wanna use AI generated. They have these for templates as well. So you could just replace an entire slide with templates. So they do give you a lot of manual control, even though AI creates that overall template for you, you could actually use any of these other options. They have a text tool over here too. They have a shape tool. So all kinds of different things you could do. And then I collapsed this one too. You have the script option on the very bottom. So this script is not actually what's showing up on your slideshow, but this script is something that is created with the AI, again, based on your presentation, based on your data, if you gave it any data, and you could go ahead and record it with a teleprompter. So you could choose this option here, and it pops up right now, my laptop is closed over here, but this is gonna give access to your camera here, and you could record it and drop it right into there. You could always go ahead and share your screen over here. So they've made it really easy to replace for example, this one had a video right over here. So if I go to this one, it says record a video. I just click over here, brings me to this page. I could record a video. So they've created a bunch of different easy steps for you to make an actual presentation. Because typically when we create these for internal training or internal communication for companies, a lot of it is gonna be the leader of teams or the CEO of that company creating little short videos that get dropped into a final video, which is exactly what this is designed for. And again, as I mentioned, everything is editable. They also do add this music down here. So this music track is also looks like it's royalty free music track, which I should be able to find more of in the stock library over here. So again, we have video stock, let's see music right here. So they have a bunch of different music tracks based on different types of categories that you could choose from. So if I wanted an ambient sound, a lot of corporate videos, for example, like this, could use some kind of ambient sound in the background. It chooses one by default for you, but you could go ahead and replace it with these. And what's really nice is sometimes if you have a video already, which in a lot of cases, if I'm creating a presentation like this, that's video heavy, I might already have the video. I don't need to always go ahead and click record a video. So they have an option up here for replacing a video where you could upload a video that's already on your computer. So I have this video right here from my computer. I've uploaded it here. Now, if I just preview it, the video looks like it's playing right over here. And then again, I could change any of the text to go along with the video. And with all these, you could go ahead and resize it, crop it. You have all kinds of different options on top. So this is nice if you're used to any Google product because the layout looks very much like Google Docs and Google Sheets and things like that, right? And it looks like it's part of your Google Drive. So it's already going to get saved automatically. I don't have to save these videos. I don't have to get any kind of external hard drive to store them. It's all gonna take place inside of my Google Drive, inside of that Google Workspace account. I could always go ahead and press share. And again, this is right now a private one. And just like any other Google product, I could go ahead and share a link or invite other people to collaborate with, which is really nice. And to preview it, I could go ahead and press play right on top. This is gonna preview the video. And again, I haven't made any edits to it. I just kind of wanted to show you what this is all about. This just came out today. But you could see really nice animation here. All the animation, by the way, is fully customizable too. They let you even change the transition that takes place from one clip to another. Obviously, I have to make sure I change this with all, all my own content. And there's just music playing in the background. So you do want to typically record some kind of audio. That's why you gave it that script with the teleprompter to really make this a nice presentation. But this kind of stuff was very manual. So I think just this Gemini AI tool 
creating this from your own documents, Google Sheets and Google Docs, maybe if you want to create kind of a budget presentation or expense presentation, pull in Google Sheets that are already inside of this Google account. Very, very useful. And I think this is going to be one of their pillar products that's going to be part of Google Workspace along with Google Docs and Google Sheets. And Google has that other tool that I mentioned in the very beginning called Notebook LM. That's for your personal note taking and then using Gemini to actually interact with your notes. So I covered that in a different video that I'll link here that I think you'll find useful as well. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you next time.